I'm not going to disparage anybody who comes to this for the money because I think that everybody pretty much comes to this for the money, but you stay for the service piece. You stay for the, the, the feeling of fulfillment that you get when you're able to, to meet somebody where they're at in their crisis. And the crisis doesn't have to be total losses, right? It can be a water spot on the ceiling. It could be a section of the fence blown down in the back, right? Those, who, those, those can be huge crises for legitimately or in somebody's mind, it doesn't does not matter, right? I don't have control over how that person perceives this situation, right. but I do have control how I serve them in that situation, right? In that in that claim scenario. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code Adjuster TV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. Yeah, well, I'll give you my five, which are actually all the same as yours, um, because I think this is kind of like Wheel of Fortune when they do the last puzzle and they're like, all right, mm -hmm. R-S-T-L-N-E, and then pick the rest of your letters, right? So it's kind of like, these are the main reasons, you know, you can throw money in there, certainly, but I think that this is, this is definitely one of those jobs where um, if you love it, the money is like, it's, the, it's there, no problem, yeah. right? Because if, if you really... If you're excited when you get called and they, you know, you're jumping in the truck, you know, while you're hanging up with them and, you know, you're, you're looking forward to it and you put in 110%, um, the, the money takes care of itself for sure. But yeah, I would say the, the, the thing, the things that I loved about everything that you said, which is the same thing I love about the job, the independence piece for sure, because you are kind of a little bit your own business in a way. I mean, you are. it's kind of a hybrid between having a, like a job and ha be, having your own business because you do have sales and marketing, right? You have to keep up your skills. You have to pay for your own all, everything, right? your training, your vehicle, your gear, all that stuff. Um, and it can it's kind of fun to set things up just the way you want them, right? Your laptop, you, what ladder you use, what vehicle you use, how you set up your, your inside of your vehicle, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, the independence to, if you really wanted to, say no, which I never did either, Um but you could, right? And then you know, you have the independence. You don't have to like, you know, we we're talking about staff jobs earlier in a different video, but you're, when you have a staff job, I mean, there's a lot of pros to that certainly, but one of the cons is, is that you have to like request time off like months in advance. Whereas as an independent adjuster, and you may not even be able to get it, especially if you're new and you don't have the seniority to like get time off around Christmas, you may be working the day after Thanksgiving, right? Friday, which sucks. I did it. And, but as an independent, right, I know when I learned, I learned pretty quickly when the downtimes were and when I can sneak away and, you know, take my own, take a as, kind of as long a vacation as I wanted to, uh, and not worry about having to be getting called, right? I could go take a five week vacation somewhere, right? I could go to Europe for two weeks or three weeks. I could do whatever I, really whatever I wanted to. And not whenever I wanted to, because I'm not going to do that during storm season, but you know, um, I can work or not work if I wanted to over the wintertime, which is pretty cool. Um, the travel, I love the travel as well. I like going to new places to be able to say, yeah, I've, I've actually spent a bunch of time in the quad cities, right? And I went to all the little restaurants there, my favorite food that they have, the regional thing. Food was a big thing for me, travel, it still is. But what, as an adjuster, I would like try to find like what the, the regional or the local food was like St. Louis, fried ravioli, right? Um, real Tex-Mex in Texas is completely different than anything you get in the rest of the country, right? Yep. Uh, so on and so forth. Uh, getting a bratwurst in northern Wisconsin is, you know. Completely different. It's a whole, you know, you're going to get in Texas. Yeah, totally. So the travel, 100%. I always liked going and seeing new places and filling in gaps on the map, right? Um, helping people, you know. It's one of those things, like, and I think this is, I, and I don't, I'm not going to disparage anybody who comes to this for the money because I think that everybody pretty much comes to this for the money, but you stay for the service piece. You stay for the, the, the feeling of fulfillment that you get when you're able to, to come to, some, to, to meet somebody where they're at in their crisis. And the crisis doesn't have to be total losses, right? It can be a water spot on the ceiling. It could be a section of the fence blown down in the back, right? Those, those, those can be huge crises for legitimately or in somebody's mind it doesn't does not matter right i don't have control over how that person perceives the situation right. 
but I do have control how I serve them in that situation, right? In that in that claim scenario. Um, so that was that was extremely rewarding being able to help people in any in any particular claim situation. Um, and you know, then the meeting people part, which is kind of like you said, it's sort of hand in hand with the um, the helping people part. But in a way, it's it is separate. And one of the fun things was like you totally like you said is like winning over the grumpy people, right? The yeah. people that are like they're bound and determined. They're going to dig their heels in. They're ready for a fight. They want to hate your guts and make it hard for them to hate your guts, right? With yep. some basic rapport, a smile, don't rise to the fight, you know, look them in the eye, say, listen, we're going to do whatever we can, we can, you know, I'm going to do everything in my power, take care of this claim, you know, the way it should be, you know, and I'll work with your contractor and so on and so forth. You know, if this happens, call me for, for call me and, and we'll, we'll do this. If that happens, call me and we'll do that. Right. And then th you don't leave them a place to, to still be mad at you. Right. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.